Alright, so I know I haven't done a video in a while. I've been really busy with school here recently, and uh, I figured I would take the opportunity here since this is kind of cool. Um, the ISS every once in a while, if you don't know, will uh, do special events where they transmit uh, SSTV images from the International Space Station on uh, the 145.800 uh, megahertz. And as you know, our cheap little radios are capable of receiving that. And this channel is mostly centered around just kind of using what we have. Uh, so what we're going to do today is take the opportunity, because the ISS is still transmitting images until 1825 UTC. Currently it's about, about 1500 UTC. And we actually have an OK pass coming up at um, 1136, 1130 AM uh, Eastern Standard Time. So that's about before they stop transmitting the images. So on the screen here, I have pulled up uh, some the you know, announcement from the ISS fan club uh, about the SSTV event and a little bit more information on what it's showing here. Uh, it looks like it began, it began on uh, February 8th, 1825, and it ends at 1830 UTC on February 10th, which is today. So it's going to be transmitted with PD120 um, format for the SSTV. Now, if you don't know how SSTV works, it's kind of cool, actually. It actually um, just sends the, uh, the message in audio. So, literally, you can record it. Record it and then play it back, or record it and then feed it into a, a decoder, which is how we usually um, kind of decode those images. So, what we're going to be using today... And you can use pretty much any radio that we'll receive on the 145.800 megahertz. We're going to be using our cheap $30 Baofeng radio. So the only needed thing to do for this thing right here, uh, the only needed programming is this to program that 145.800 megahertz channel into the radio. You also want to know how to turn your squelch off because uh, once the ISS comes over, we'll be using the squelch off just in case it kind of loses or fades signal a little bit. But typically, these signals are pretty strong. The next thing uh, that you're going to need is some way to record the audio coming from the radio. And I know it's 2019, everybody has a cell phone. That's what I'm going to be using. I'm just going to be using a basic voice recorder uh, to record that. Now, you want to record it in a good quality, uh, and it really needs to be in a wave, if possible, a wave file. So that's the next thing you're going to need. And the last thing you're going to need really is just uh, a way to decode it. And uh, there's different ways to do it. In this case, we're going to be using a Windows program called uh, MMSSTV. If you don't know where to find that, you can go to uh, hamsoft.ca, uh, as you see right here. And then on the left here, it'll say MMSSTV. You just click on that, hit the Downloads button. We're going to go ahead and just install it real quick. And I'll just open up the interface, make sure we know how to use it. Enter a call sign. Okay. So actually what we're going to do with MN SSTV, and there's different ways that we can do this, uh, but we're going to just do it the easiest way. Uh, so what we're going to do is this, we're going to go ahead, we're going to go outside, we're going to record the ISS on our phone, okay? So when we take our phone, we're going to go inside, we're going to play it into the microphone, and it's going to output our image here uh, in that, um, I think it's PD120, what is it? Yes, PD120. So without further ado, just make sure your radio's uh, programmed, and make sure you're where you need to be for your pass, and let's go ahead and go out there and start recording. Alright, so it was kind of raining a little bit just now, and now it's a little snowing, so I've decided to kind of do this from my porch. That way if it starts again, I'll be able to get back inside. It's not the most optimum place, because I have the interstate over here, the camera's sitting on my balcony, so I hope it doesn't fall. But the ISS is technically going over right now. I've started a little late, as usual. And it's going to start on the other side of this apartment building, so we're not going to get the first part of the, uh, the pass anyways, but it, as it passes over, we should get a good image. Now the weather's kind of bad, so I don't know how that's going to affect reception, but I guess we'll find out here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn up the squelch on the radio and see if I can start hearing the image come through.
right, so we are back inside and we have our SSTV app running. I have my phone here and I have it next to my headset microphone. And we're going to go into MS, MM SSTV, make sure that our input device here is set to our headset, which it is. Now, what should happen when we play it, uh, it should automatically start decoding the image. So let's just go ahead and play it. And I have to kind of be quiet since it's using the audio. If I talk too loud, it's going to overshadow it and it's going to cause the image to be worse quality. So that's what we got. So it looks like this definitely could have been done better. Um, first, the easiest thing would just be the audio interface, the audio into the phone to record it and then into the computer, which would definitely up the quality because that sounded like a pretty clear signal there at first. That first half of the photo would be a lot better. But you can see that it does have the NASA on the air. You can see where it says International Space Station and obviously we see a picture of the Earth with the satellite and um, see NASA written here with the NASA logo. So you can kind of make it out, but this is more of a proof of concept. You can use these $30 radios and a cell phone and record your signal and you're good to go. Um, so we only get to do these every once in a while because NASA is not continuously transmitting these SSTV images, but it, it was a super cool to do. So if you guys want to see more things like this, just let me know. And I just want to again apologize for the lack of content that's been coming out. I'm working full time, I've got school, I've got military obligations. So there's a, there's a lot going on that, and I'm not able to do everything that I want to do. Um, but I figured I could take, I have a day off this Sunday, we have ISS pass, we have SSTV image broadcasting. So it was a good opportunity for me to make some content and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. And once again, you know, if you're not subscribed yet, there's always going to be some good stuff going on. I try to walk people through these, using these about things and things like that. So, yeah, just subscribe, rate, and comment, and just let me know down in the description there if uh, I say rate because that's used to be a thing on YouTube long ago. It's like or something now. But yeah, just let me know down below if you guys want to see any more content or like what you want to see or you know if you have any questions. Anyways, thanks for watching.